It is top of the hour, and we welcome in the head coach of the Monmouth Hawks, Coach Kevin Callahan. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Going fine. Monmouth picks up the first one of the year with a 31-16 win at Wagner uh, as part of our 7-0 week. So congratulations uh, to you and your team. And you are back on the road at Fordham. And if you can over talk about the victory over the Seahawks, then we'll start taking questions and talk about uh, Saturday's opponent. Sure, Mark. Thank you. Uh, you know, it was certainly good to get our first win. You know, we had gone out, and I think we had done, we've played better uh, each and every week throughout the first two weeks. And then it was good to see our guys put it all together and, and, and get that first win. That's very important to us. You know, I thought we had a very good defensive effort um, on, on, on Saturday night. Um, not that we haven't had good efforts before, but I think it all came together for us. You know, Demetrius Smith, the defensive tackle, had a big day for us with, you know, five tackles, two tackles for loss, a sack, and two fumble recoveries. And, you know, he was recognized by the conference as a defensive player of the week for that effort. And, you know, on the back end, Mike Basile continues to have just uh, tremendous performances, was involved in 18 tackles uh, on Saturday night. And then, you know, linebacker Peyton Minnick, who made the move from an outside position to the middle linebacker position uh, uh, during the spring, um, is really starting to become comfortable with what he's doing in there and had another really fine performance operating from the middle linebacker spot. You know, and, and I was really pleased over on the offensive side of the ball where we'd had some problems uh, getting untracked quickly and in the beginning of games and, and, and not playing as well as we need to in the first half. And Saturday we got off to a fast start, scored uh, on the second play of the game, um, and, and really had things going uh, from the very beginning. You know, it's very evident that our quarterback, uh, Cody Williams, uh, he's a redshirt freshman, um, he's growing, he's maturing, he, he's beginning to uh, enter into his comfort zone as a, as a quarterback and playing in games. I think the game is, has, has begun to slow down for him now where maybe that wasn't the case in the first uh, two weeks. And he's, he's starting to see the field much better and he's starting to, uh, to really settle in and, and, and play uh, solid back there. And then, um, you know, Darren Ambush uh, at the receiver position, uh, is just through the first three weeks, he's been a big play guy for us. And, you know, LeVon Chaney is a guy that we ask to do a lot of different things, whether it's catching the ball, running the ball, throwing the ball. Uh, we ask an awful lot of him. And, uh, you know, he, he continues to, you know, live up to those expectations and has, have great performances. So we got win number one under our belt, and that's something that now we have to build on. We have to build on the progress and improvement that we made in, in week three. And we're going to need to do that heading into this week's game at Fordham. You know, Fordham's a top-20 team. They're a team that's been to the, uh, into the second round of the FCS playoffs in each of the last two years. Um, and they've got a very good balanced football team. They're able to put up excellent numbers on offense, and most of that becomes uh, comes behind a very talented running back um, who is, is uh, you know, responsible for most of their production on offense. They've got a quarterback who transferred in from Marshall, uh, who through the first three games is doing uh, very well also. And then on the defensive side, they're aggressive, stingy unit. Uh, they come into the game at, at two and one. Uh, with a close loss to Villanova in a 14-7 game, an opening week victory over Army, and then this last week they beat Columbia. So they're a team that knows how to win. They're a team that's well coached. They're a team that's extremely talented. So, you know, we'll have quite a challenge as, as we go up to the New York to play them this weekend. All right, Coach, thanks very much. At this time we'll start taking questions for Monmouth head coach Kevin Callahan. If you ask a question, please press star 1 on your phone at any time or click the Q&A link here at the top of your browser, and Cook can raise hand and you can join us via the web. Questions for Monmouth head coach Kevin Callahan. The coach, first questions for you are from Eddie Occupini of the Monmouth Digital Network. Good morning, Ed. Eddie, I think you muted yourself. Sorry about that, guys. We're getting used to some technology up here. That's my fault. Good morning, everyone. Mark, Coach, how you doing today? Good, thank you. All right, guys. Uh, Coach, real quick, just want to know, um, you know, from where the team was week one to week three now, wh what are the steps that they've made in, in your mind and seen it on the field? You know, I thought the, the Holy Cross game had a great second half comeback, played well last week against Central Michigan, and then seemed to put it all together against the, the Seahawks this past week. 
Well, I, I think what you're seeing is, is, you know, certainly on the offensive side, you're seeing Cody Williams uh, becoming more comfortable uh, as the quarterback, as the leader of our offense. I think the game has slowed down some for him. Uh, he's seeing things much clearer. He's making better decisions as a result of that. Um, and he's, he's just more, you're seeing his true ability start to come to the surface because he is much more comfortable in what he's doing. And I think some of the guys that we're asking to, to support him, uh, you know, certainly LeVon Chaney is a mainstay of our offense. And as I said earlier, we ask him to do an awful lot of different things. And um, he has a lot of talents, and, and we try to utilize as many of those as we can. And then Darren Ambush at the receiver position is a guy who just continues to make uh, big plays, explosive plays for us. So I think you're seeing the maturation of the quarterback position and, and the guys around him stepping up and, 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 and doing a great job at supporting his efforts. And then on the defensive side, I, I, you know, where I thought in the Holy Cross game we started a little bit slow, have some younger guys playing in the back end. It's a, really a, a young secondary I think uh, they're certainly becoming more comfortable with what they're doing. Uh, Peyton Minnick has settled in uh, at his new position in the middle linebacker. And then in the defensive line where we've lost some guys because of injury, you know, going back to training camp, uh, the guys that we've asked to step up and replace them, you know, are, are, are starting to hit their comfort zone now, and they've got some experience under their belt, and their performance is, is beginning to show that. And Coach, just one final follow-up for that, and, and... – you know, you played the Chippewas a couple weeks ago, rivalry game last week, Fordham. Really no breaks on the schedule, and we all know how good the Big South is. And, and just talk about what it is every you know, week in, week out with this young football team. And some of those challenges with just getting them ready and, and making them realize that, you know what, there really isn't a week off once you get to this level, and every game really is incredible. Well, you know, you know, fortunately, you know, our guys, are, you know, their, their preparation is outstanding, and, and they really come to – to practice in meetings every day with, you know, uh, the attitude that we're going to get better today and we're going to keep sharpening the axe and, and, and get ready to go to work. And, you know, they it's very easy for to get them uh, motivated to, to, to do that because all they have to do is turn on the video and take a look at, at the opponents that they're playing. And, you know, this week, again, we've got a, a top 20 team, a perennial uh, playoff team that we have to go play. Uh, it's a team that knows how to win. It's a team, a veteran team, and it's a, a, certainly a very well-coached team. So we've got another challenge in front of us this week. And, you know, we knew at the outset of the 2015 season that this was going to be, you know, one of the most competitive schedules that we've played in recent years. And, you know, we, we just got to get through these games in, in, in one week at a time. Well, Coach, I appreciate it. Mark, thank you very much. I want to wish all the coaches in the league the best of luck. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. And, Coach, I'll wrap up with a kind of maybe a sort of a follow-up to what Eddie was asking. I remember last week in your comments, I can't recall the exact contact, but you had mentioned things, certain things had to improve. What did you work on last week in practice to have the effort you did against Wagner? Well, you know, last week the biggest thing was just the – that we focused on was – you know, the consistency. You know, there were too many occasions where we were doing things right most of the time, but the times in which we didn't do them right or we didn't execute, you know, it, it really hurt us. And, and they seemed to come at, at critical junctures in the game, both against Central Michigan and against Holy Cross. And, you know, our message to the team was, you know, you know you, we've got to be a team that executes every single play, uh, especially from the mental aspect, making sure that we understand exactly what we're doing, that we get lined up right, and then we give ourselves the best opportunity to be successful physically. Uh, and, and that's the approach that we've taken with these guys. And as, as we've said during this call, there's some young guys playing in a lot of positions, and you know we've just got to have that attention to detail every single play. And, and I'm happy to say that I thought our guys took a significant step in that area uh, last Saturday against Wagner. All right. Well, Coach, I'm not seeing any more questions for you, so we'll go to the Unless someone's trying to get in real quick. Stand by for me. Is there anyone uh, trying to ask a question for Coach Callahan that I can't see in our queue? Hearing none, Coach, again, thanks for joining us. Good luck Saturday at Fordham, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you very much, Mark. And, uh, again, a great week by everybody in the Big South, 7-0 and last weekend. Hopefully we can keep that going. All right. Thanks, Coach. Talk to you next week. Thank you.